Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Merry Christmas. We have an outstanding video from Matt Gates that I'm so excited to share with you guys. Matt Gates has been doing some incredible outstanding things for our country. And by the way, he was actually the person who got rid of Kevin McCarthy and led the or paved the way for House Speaker Christian Mike Johnson, Patriot, to be the new House Speaker. So I think we need to give respect where respect is deserved with Matt Gates. He also just gave a fiery speech at America Fest, which I wanna touch on, and we have some updates with Donald J. Trump. Matt Gates is teaming up with Trump. So we have uh, some incredible updates moving forward and some updates with Mike Johnson too while we're at it. And before we jump in, I wanted to say Merry Christmas and let's read the Bible because God comes first, amen? <laughs> amen, we always read the Bible on my show before we jump into the news because those are where all the answers are. In the Bible, that's where the truth lies, in the Bible. And then we'll get started with the video. So thank you guys so much. I'm really excited for this video. It's a really, really good one. And uh, if you're, well, if you're for Trump, it's a really good video. If you're for Biden, you're probably going to cry uh, after this because it's pretty bad if you're a Biden supporter. Okay, here we go. This is from the book of Ephesians. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Amen. Comment amen if you believe. That's Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. And remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. All right, so we're going to jump straight in. By the way, love reading your comments. Also, don't mind the haters who comment below that Somebody even commented, I, I had to take a screenshot of this because it just really upset me in the moment. Somebody said, WTF, I didn't click on this for a sermon. Are you serious? You're going to watch my video and just be like, oh, I hate the Bible. I hate the Bible. If you don't like the Bible, go turn on Fox News. Go to, I mean, actually Fox News, they might share a little Bible on there. But go turn on CNN or ABC News or turn on The View and go listen to Hillary Clinton compare Trump to, you know, Hitler or Joy Behar telling the, you know, the world that they need to lock Trump up. I mean, it's ridiculous. Anyways, Matt Gates shared this. He says, coming to a neighborhood near you, shut down the border or shut down the government. So Matt Gates is really going at it and uh, about border security. He is, he shared a video of Arizona this morning um, well, this was a couple, two days ago. And him, Jim Jordan, Mike Johnson, Donald Trump Jr., Trump, all these people are really saying, urging Biden, look, you need to secure the border. He shared this video saying, shut down the border or shut down the government. Matt Gates is not messing around. And if you know anything about Matt Gates, is that he does not mess around with what we saw with him and Kevin McCarthy. He shared this video. Look at this. Seemingly endless line. This is Arizona. Coming in just in time for Christmas. So these are 
you know, these might be your new neighbors or, you know, a representation of your new neighbors coming into town. So if you're like a hospitable person and you like to welcome your new neighbors with cookies or Christmas cookies, you know, make bake um, a few dozen extra batches because y'all are going to have a lot of a lot of new neighbors coming in very soon. And this is the Biden administration. This is the reality of a Biden border, right? We actually saw new numbers of uh, November. The November numbers were finally released by the Customs Border Protection. Over 242,000 migrant encounters in one single month, which is the highest November ever recorded in history and the third highest month of Biden's presidency. So we are basically peaking right now of number of people coming to the border. Not only that, my friends, but listen to this. This is scary. This should scare you. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a fear monger, but if you need, if you've ever listened to one thing on my show and you said, holy, holy moly, that's crazy, Dylan. Listen to this. In the month of November, Border Patrol arrested 17 people on the FBI's terror watch list at the southern border in November. In one month, the Border Patrol arrested 17 people who were on the FBI's terror watch list. And they're trying to just walk on into our country. And dare I beg to ask the question, how many came into the country who weren't stopped? Because think of all the people who sneak in illegally. They just come on in. Come on in, come on in. Oh, you're on the terror watch list? Hmm, you seem like a good guy, though. <laughs> it's so crazy to me. Now, Mike Johnson wanted to share some of his speech that he gave because I thought it was uh, pretty, pretty incredible uh, at this um, con conference called America Fest 2023. I love how they, you know, have these events. Charlie Kirk was there, um, or I believe, yeah. I, it's called Turning Point Action, but he says, we've got more winning on the way. Listen to this. This is pretty awesome. Let's watch this. Politics in a representative republic eventually comes down to this. And so I want the biggest, baddest, toughest, strongest, most inspirational advocate for our nation and for our movement. And with all due respect to the other candidates running, I ride or die with Donald John Trump. Donald John Trump, boy. Trump, Trump, Trump. <laughs> I thought that was awesome. I ride or die with Donald John Trump. I always like saying John in the middle. It's Donald John Trump. I don't know. I just like saying Donald John Trump. It feels like it has more power. But yeah, Matt Gates. I mean, he gave a 20 minute speech. By the way, I can't share a lot of the stuff he says on there because it's uh, pretty gnarly, but that's just the reality of YouTube. Um, but he went on to talk about how, you know, they, they, they are trying to imprison Donald Trump. He says they have succeeded at removing him from the ballot. He says, I am confident, though, that the U.S. Supreme Court will not allow this egregious ruling to stand. The American people will decide. He said, the American people will decide their next president, not the judges in Colorado. Which I think is really interesting because Matt Gates, he's somebody that I trust because he is a congressman. He's actually in the government. He's a, you know, an elected official who has a, a, actually a lot of influence and power. Keep in mind, he was the one who got rid of Kevin McCarthy because he didn't like what Kevin McCarthy was doing because Kevin McCarthy, what was he doing? Mainly bowing down to Democrats and bowing down to lobbyists. Two things that Matt Gates didn't want our House Speaker to deal with in the first place. He said, he said, I don't want a rhino leader in the House of Representatives, and especially one who's at bending down, kneeling down to lobbyists. That, and then he's, that's why he wanted uh, somebody like Jim Jordan. He said, I'm going to nominate Jim Jordan because he's not at the mercy of lobbyists. And, Ke and Matt Gates said, look, I'm going to, you know, 
to accept my $10 donations, my $5 donations from people who actually care and not these mega donors because those are the people who influence you and those are your influence, you're basically, you know, voting on policies based on your lobbyists. It's, I don't know, I feel like lobbying is such a joke, but uh, let's listen to this. Mr. Speaker, you are out of compliance with the agreement that allowed you to assume this role. The path forward for the House of Representatives is to either bring you into immediate total compliance or remove you pursuant to a motion to vacate the chair. Mr. Speaker, you boasted in January that we would use the power of the subpoena and the power of the purse. But here we are eight months later and we haven't even sent the first subpoena to Hunter Biden. That's how you know that the rushed and you know, somewhat rattled performance you just saw from the speaker isn't real. At this point during Democrat control over the House of Representatives, they had already brought in Don Jr. three times. And we haven't even sent the first subpoena to Hunter Biden. I must be better. You must be better. And this House must be better for it is the last best hope for tens of millions of Republicans. Mr. Speaker. Amen. Amen. That was Matt Gates three months ago blasting Kevin McCarthy right before they ousted him. And in and Matt Gates is not messing around at all. You just saw in his eyes, he's fierce, he means business. He says, we elected you and you're not holding up your end of the bargain, so you gotta get the heck out of here, bro. And in comes Mike Johnson. He's a Christian patriot and he's a prayerful man and I don't know if you guys have seen this, but I'm gonna share it because I don't know, I feel like this deserves to be shared all over, but right after he was elected, Mike Johnson held a prayer on the House of Representatives steps. Look at this. Our Heavenly Father, we just call out to you tonight in mourning and with heavy hearts. Our Heavenly Father, we see what is happening uh, to Israel, to innocent men, women, and children, civilians at, at the hand. Mike Johnson held a prayer on the steps of the U.S. House of Representatives, praying for those in Israel. So goodbye, Kevin McCarthy, and in come Mike Johnson. And Mike, Matt Gates was a massive piece of the puzzle, my friends, to all of this. And I don't know if you know this, but Mike Johnson said, that he believed that God anointed him to be a new Moses, a new leader. And that God is, God told Mike Johnson that we're coming to a Red Sea moment. And I personally believe that Mike Johnson is correct. I think a lot of new things are taking place. Mike Johnson said this, he shared this at a, a, an event for Christian lawmakers. He said, the Lord impressed upon my heart before this happened that something was going to occur. The Lord very specifically told me in my prayers to prepare, but to wait. I had this sense that we're coming to a Red Sea moment in our Republican conference and the country at large. Mike Johnson said, look, I'm a Southern Baptist. I don't want to get spooky on you, okay? But the Lord speaks to your heart. He had been speaking to me about this. Mike Johnson said, that God woke me up in the middle of the night for three weeks and spoke to me. And God chose him to be a new Moses. And again, I just have to say that I like that we have people like Matt Gates who is not afraid to say, stand up for the people and what the people want. And who knows? Maybe, maybe, just maybe, Donald J. Trump is going to go forward for 2024 and be the new president coming in for the next term. And keep in mind, we have Donald Trump and Melania Trump, who these people are very, uh, very Christian, um, prayerful people. We've seen Donald Trump and Melania Trump in church. This is a good sign. Maybe this is time, my friends, that we're, you know, gonna see Jesus back in 
um, the government. God back in the government. Maybe we're going to see God back into the forefront of our nation. This is Mike Johnson. I've played this clip for you guys many times because I think it needs to be seen by everyone. show you the, um, the chapel in here. Not a lot of people have seen this. Yeah. But it's one of my favorite parts of the, of the building. Wow. And it's got this ornate stained glass that they added in 1955. So thanks to Matt Gates, we have now Mike Johnson coming in and he's sharing, look, hey, this is the chapel. And I wanted to share this at the end because it's really cool. And he says, we go in here every morning to seek the Lord's guidance. Watch this. Oh, every morning? Yes. Okay, so. We've already used it quite a bit and we'll be using it every morning. So all, every morning? Yes. Okay, so, you know, my team back in the White House, the last thing we did before we went to the podium was have a prayer. Yeah. So literally end in prayer and then yeah. go speak to the press. So each morning, do you have, will you have a ritual? This will be, this will be my, my discipline to come in here and, um, and uh, seek the Lord's guidance for what we do each day. Go speak to the press. So how cool is that? That we have a former White House press secretary, Kaylee McKennedy, talking about prayer, bringing in Mike Johnson to talk about prayer, and and the wife, by the way. This is Mike Johnson's wife. And I mean, it's just it's cool that they're talking about this again. I haven't seen, you know, I've been making videos on politics for like three years now. I haven't seen anybody talk about the chapel. I haven't seen anybody talking about praying. I mean, we are one nation under God. Let's not forget that, right? Let's not forget that we are one nation under God and God bless America. So anyways, wanted to make that quick video update. Joe Biden is doing really bad um, heading into the future. Speaker Johnson urged Biden to take executive action on the border and sleepy Joe Biden is really not you know, he's more concerned with sending money to Ukraine. Donald J. Trump is doing really good. He's holding a lead over Joe Biden on the national polls and in the swing states. So let me know your thoughts, my friends. Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. God bless.